Welcome back, everybody. We've got some spicy new recipes for you today. Todd is here from Syrah. Great to see you, Todd. Glad to be back. On the east side of Green Bay, kind of as you're heading up to Door County, and lots of stuff going on at the restaurant right now, right? Oh, definitely. We're just uh, we have the three raised bed gardens in the back, and we're just getting to the point where we're able to use some uh, some of the heirloom tomatoes and our quinoa risotto, uh, breaking out of the lettuce here and there for some salads. So chances are you're going to eat something amazingly fresh when you come down to see us. Right Which now. is so cool, and that's very much on trend. A lot of the nicer restaurants around the country are, are you know, growing their own herbs and their own tomatoes uh, when they can. So very, very cool. So what are we making today? What we have today, you said you wanted something hot, and for hot for me is jerk. Mm -hmm. I love to make jerk. Too. Me too. Uh, chicken, pork, what have you. Mm -hmm. brought, brought some pork chops in today. Mm. So I'll show you how, we're, how we do that one. All right, we're going to get the the uh, pork chops that have been in the marinade grilling. How long do you like to marinate these guys? I like to go overnight. I do too. I'm a big, uh, you know, eight hours at least. Mm -hmm. Get it all the way through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this over this way here. We're going to throw these on, on our grill pan or on your outdoor grill. So these have been in the fridge marinating in this great seasoning and uh, mixture overnight so there's lots of great flavor and then we're yep. going to show you how to make the marinade. I, like you, Todd, love to marinate in, in Ziploc bags because it just keeps all the mess in there and just makes life a lot easier. Exactly. Less cleanup. Yep. Who wants to be doing a lot of dishes in the summer? Oh, that smells amazing. Wow. Okay. So let's uh, whip this marinade together. A lot of flavor. So what we're looking for first is our liquid. We got about a couple orange juice in there. So just the orange juice from the fridge that yep. you drink from in the morning with breakfast. Exactly. Okay. If you want to fresh squeeze it, that definitely is a nice add. Okay. Got a little rice wine vinegar. Okay. Any vinegar will do. I'm a big rice wine fan. Okay. Um, so we got about a half cup of that. About a quarter cup of soy sauce. That's going to be our salt factor in this okay. one. And they do use, um, my family and I like to spend some time in Jamaica when we can, especially in the winter. And they do use a lot of soy sauce in their marinades Definitely. and things like that. That's a yeah. salt instead of salt. Mm -hmm. When you're looking for about a half cup of oil, what I'm using because we're going for heat is a uh, chili pepper Ooh. oil. Um, I make popcorn with that one too. Oh, Ooh, yum, <laughs> yum, so yum. And then we have some of our dry. We got a little bit of thyme. Okay. Uh, nutmeg. Allspice. They use allspice, of course, a lot in Jamaica. On allspice. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. uh, really the biggest use of it is in mm -hmm. Jamaica, probably. Cinnamon, brown sugar, that's going to sweeten the heat a little bit for us and uh, give us some good color on the pork. And then garlic. Of mm. course, if you like garlic, up that. I got about two tablespoons in there. You can definitely go more than okay. that. Okay. And then we're going to chop a little ginger, okay. uh, jalapeno, and green onion and throw that in there. Now, how do you like, uh, you know, well, I'll go ahead and let you. You're I'm the chef. I'm going to do a little rough chop. This okay. is just a marinade. So okay, nice doesn't really matter then. Okay. And I'm, I'm assuming we're using this for pork chops, but you could use this for pork tenderloin, for chicken. Definitely. I run it with swordfish at the restaurant quite Ooh, often. Yum. That one's very good. And then uh, today we're just doing a little tomato and uh, grated orange over the top of it. But that mango salsa you were doing earlier, mm, great oh, add be, to this. Oh, yeah. Or uh, a jar of chutney or make your own raisin chutney. Mm. So we got some jalapeno with the seeds. We're going for heat, right? And see, that's a good tip. You could just really chunk everything up in there because this is just going to soak in there and get flavor. You don't exactly. have to perfectly mince everything. The for longer this. you're going to let it sit, the chunkier it can be. So we got all that in there. Just going to mix it up. And then, like you saw with this one, I just load everything into a Ziploc bag. Okay. Toss it around. It's easy to flip it in the fridge every once in a while. Make sure you're getting. Let me get one for you. And then you, we've just got some pork chops there. Put some of that in here. So get the pork chops Perfect. in. Some of that marinade. And then just gonna bring that in there. Hopefully. Yep. Beautiful. And then. In this case, there's plenty of marinade, but I always kind of get in there and really rub it around and get that flavor in there and Definitely. get this in the refrigerator and um, let the magic happen. And for pork, I think, you know, 24 hours is good, uh, pork and chicken. It really will flavor it up. Uh, you know, some things don't need that long of a marinade, but pork are really Especially takes to it. Yeah. Not, not a lot of fat in there, so not a lot of, you know, porous material to mm -hmm. soak up that flavor. Mm -hmm. So if you only go half an hour, you're going to have some flavor on the outside, but it's not all the way through. I totally agree. If you're going to take the trouble to make the marinade. The other thing is, is I get questions all the time, Todd, about um, my pork chops are dry, and I say marinate, marinate, marinate if you're grilling. You know, that exactly. just makes a huge difference because it lots of flavor and uh, it will keep it nice and juicy. Don't overcook them. Yeah, get big yourself, time. Get yourself an instant read thermometer yep. and don't cook those past 145 degrees. is actually the yeah, new exactly, magic number you know. from the pork producers. So these look wonderful. Um, not always on the menu, but they do a special. So uh, call them and then. Uh, Ask Todd to make them for you, or if they're running that. So fresh, fresh tomatoes some on top. Fresh tomato, 
some aroma. We're gonna do a little orange, kind of match with the flavor that's in the marinade. Ooh. Like I said, anything you can put on here just to kind of cool it off or accent it a little bit. Oh, that looks wonderful. Thanks so much. Great to Thank see you. you. Syrah on the east side of Green Bay. If you haven't been there, check them out. Great fresh food.